Ryan is getting more active at Vought in the boys' season 4. However, episode 5 also worries me about his tale since it appears like Homelander is influencing him. Episode 5 of the boys' fourth season features a number of moving components. The seven show up at V-52 Expo while the program's protagonists hunt for a soup virus to bring Homelander down. V-52 Expo appears to be a satire of events like Disney's D-23 Expo, especially considering the boys' digs at Marvel and DC. It also fulfills a similar function by advertising every film and television program that Vought has coming up. Ryan also attends the event as part of Vought's media roster and PR plan, in addition to the seven, of course. It gets worse behind the scenes, which makes this alone worrisome. Ryan's actions in The Boys Season 4, Episode 5, have me worried about his tale. I used to be very confident I understood where Ryan's character in the Amazon series was headed, but I'm not so sure now. Even though Ryan spends more time with Homelander and Vought, he manages to maintain sympathy. But following the boys' fifth episode, I'm afraid for the future of Ryan. Ryan exhibits his darker side after a run-in with Adam Burke backstage at the V-52 Expo. Ryan deserves credit for exposing the director's harassment of a female production assistant at Vought. This ought to enrage him. Ryan confronts Adam about it, nevertheless, at Homelander's insistence, and he goes farther than I thought. When Adam's remarks don't appear genuine, he demands an apology from Adam and gets harsh with him. When Homelander says that's not enough, Ryan makes the paw smack Adam again after telling him to go down on his knees and apologize. Ryan is right to be outraged, but there are undoubtedly other ways to discipline Vought's staff members. Ryan seems to like the interaction, which is another really concerning thing about it. He gives out an amused-looking smirk, sipping from his milkshake while he watches Adam get battered. For a character who never acts like this, it's an uncomfortable time. He is obviously being influenced by Homelander more than I had thought. Lacking a true understanding of how to assist others, Homelander distorts this objective. By preserving the paw, he manages to persuade Adam that he is doing good deeds, but he is unable to prevent his son from going too far. Homelander doesn't know how to deal with a scenario like this, which is why. And Ryan may end up on the same road if he doesn't get the right supervision. I didn't think this was a problem for Ryan because he was raised by Becca and shown morals. I wouldn't be shocked if the boys transforms Ryan into a villain, though, given the conduct Homelander is promoting. The Amazon series may be preparing Wicked Ryan in addition to Homelander, who is still the boys' major antagonist. It leaves enough clues open to the possibility that Ryan's storyline would take a sinister turn, and it's obvious the CIA is worried about two invincible soups being on the loose. Ryan has a greater chance than Homelander to emerge as a true hero. The boys could have to battle both soups if Butcher is unable to discover out how to keep them apart. Considering Becca's final request, this is quite terrible. Though it doesn't go far enough to prove that Ryan will become a villain in the boys' season 4, episode 5, it is a significant step in that direction. Before the boys' season 5 can transform Ryan into the next Homelander, maybe Butcher can help him see the light. I hope Butcher can talk Ryan out of moving to Vought for his own good. In the last season of The Boys, I doubt the winning squad would be able to defeat Homelander.